Hi there, welcome to the Erudite Artist YouTube channel. My name is Janice and in this video, I'll be sharing with you my process on how I created this mini travel journal using Graphic 45's Once Upon a Springtime. So I have here the 12 by 12 Deluxe Collector's Edition and I am mainly using the Primrose Cottage paper that I cut at 5.75 by 9 inches wide. And I have a foam sheet here that is the same size as my paper. Now this is completely optional as I realize this is not widely available all over the world but I have here a cold laminating film with a leather texture that I am placing on top of my paper just to give it some added protection from any dirt, wear and tear. And I'm just going to uh, get rid of any air bubbles on it before gluing it onto my foam sheet. I let the glue dry for a bit and then I punched in a hole at the center to place in an elastic that will hold my journal closed. The length of my elastic string is roughly half an inch longer than the width of my journal. And I just inserted both ends into the hole that I made and just tied it on to keep it in place. Next thing I'm doing is adding in the elastic so I can place notebook inserts inside the journal. I punched in two holes at the top and at the bottom central portions of my journal, roughly about half an inch apart, like so, and just looped in my elastics. I also added in an extra pocket at the back cover of this journal just to add some storage space.
Now just to further protect the edges of my journal, because sometimes the elastic tends to dig into the cover, especially when it's full, I added this little sticker that I glued into a piece of foam and looped it into the elastic enclosure. So you can place it on the edge of the cover to protect it from any dents or use it as a decoration at the front. Now I'm just going to add in some pocket inserts to match my journal cover. I cut 7 inches off of pixie post in fairy folk paper and I folded it in half just like so and then I creased about 2 inches of the bottom so these can serve as my pockets. Then I cut a curve across the paper, starting at the center crease I created earlier. Then I cut off the outer edges of the paper to form a 3.5 inch wide notebook. And then I just created some gluing tabs and glued them into place. And this is done. I'm going to repeat the same steps onto the other paper. Now at this point, this project is practically done, but I do want to add in a few more embellishments. So I'm taking out some of these stickers and decorating these inserts that I created. Now I'm just placing it inside the journal cover that I created earlier and this is done. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspired you to create something as well. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out Graphic45 on social media and YouTube. You can visit their website at www.g45papers.com to check out the collection I used here and the rest of the available products by Graphic45. Please also do follow us on Facebook and Instagram and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!